Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming to you on this sunny Saturday which is way day and I have had a pretty good week on plan apart from one blip. It wasn't really a blip. What I'm doing is I'm just getting up my Instagram so I can talk you through because I can't remember absolutely everything that I've eaten. So on Sunday we were looking after our niece and nephew and we kind of decided that we were going to go to this little farm um, which is just a farm that has like cows, pigs, llamas, chicks, rabbits, guinea pigs, stuff like that uh, and there was a cafe there. So before we picked our niece and nephew up I had two Weetabix with some milk and I had some strawberries. So we went obviously out for lunch and I decided to have a jacket potato with beans and salad so that was on plan and then in the evening I had my good old trusty chicken kebab uh, from the local takeaway and I ended the day on a fruit pastel ice lolly, a hi-fi and a little sweetie um, so I ended that day on 14 and a half cents which isn't bad for a Sunday is it? Uh, then Monday came and I had two Weetabix again with milk and some strawberries. I've been loving Weetabix this week. Uh, it's something that I've not had for ages because when I used to have it, I used to get um, heartburn. But I've not had that this week. Then for my lunch, I had a Subway salad. Uh, so I had double chicken teriyaki with sweet onion sauce and the salad. So that was one and a half cents. For tea, we ended up going to Nando's and I did have good intentions and I was pretty starving. Um, so I ended up having a double chicken wrap, plain, with chips, peri chips and garlic bread. So that was an off plan meal and obviously the, that was a wrap. But I'll tell you what I didn't do, I didn't come home and think, I've had a bad day anyway, I'm going to have chocolate, I'm going to have this and that. So instead, I had two of the dime little minis. They're from Ikea and the ones in each, so I picked those up from Ikea. Uh, and a Tunnock's tea cake. So I was over sins, but when I came home, I didn't go completely mad, which is an improvement for me. Because I might have thought, oh yeah, on the way home I'll get a cake, I'll get some chocolate, I'll pick out and I'll start again tomorrow. And I didn't do that. So obviously, Tuesday was back on it after that little naughty tea. So, boiled eggs and an apple and an orange for breakfast. And then I had some lasagna that I'd made. It's local lasagna, which is the two chubby cups recipe. And I took that out of the freezer and I had that for my lunch. We then went out for our tea, but I'll show you what I picked. I had the prawn cocktail, which comes with bread and butter. And I had a chicken Caesar salad. So what I do is I allow sins for the bread and butter with the starter and the sauce. And then with the main, there's a little bit of sauce in there. So I allow sins for that. And um, the chicken is really lean and would be sin free. And what I ask the chef to do is to cook, cut the fat off the bacon, which makes that sin free. Um, so what I did was I allowed 10 sins for that meal um, and it was lovely. We've not been there for ages. And then I ended the night with two high fives, which would have been the healthy it should be. Two of the mini dimes, which was two sins and some popcorn. So I ended the day on 14 and a half sins. Um, I was then back on the Weetabix and some speedy fruit. And then I started on salads for my lunch. So, um, yeah, I love them salads. Chicken, rice, lettuce, onion, cucumber, beetroot. Um, there's loads of stuff in there and it's really, really yummy. And then we had steak for tea with Slimming World chips and I did the cheesy garlic mushrooms. So they were nice. Um, so yeah, breakfast have been mainly Weetabix. I had another Subway salad. For Friday's tea and I had a chicken kebab for Thursday's tea and then I've been having those Iceland 
little mini Viennas. So I've had the plain ones and I've had the strawberry ones and they're really nice. They remind me of a choc ice. If you like choc ices, try those. The cheap and Lawson. Um, I've had a bit of pineapple. I haven't done any SP days this week. Um, and I've had a few of those dimes here and there uh, in the evening. So yeah, I've had a good week apart from Monday evening when I had Nando's and then obviously we went out another night but I did stick to it and I've had that meal before and lost six pounds in a week back in the early days when I got some good losses. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really sure what I was expecting. I thought I'd be chuffed with the maintain because obviously I have my Saturday night treat as well. So yeah, so I went to group went slightly earlier than normal went for quarter to 12 just because there's a carnival on that's local to us and they were going to shut the roads so i went and got weighed in and i stood on the scales and i maintained so that was all right uh 13 stone 12 total loss of six stone 11 on slimming world the book is falling to bits anyway um so yeah, I'll tell you what I did pick up whilst I was at group. I picked up the new mag. So I just had a quick flick through it before and um, I thought I'd show you a couple of things. So, don't know about you, but Seabrook Chris, how amazing. They are so flavoursome, but they're high in sins, aren't they? So it's not something I've had for years. But I saw these and these are called Seabrooks and they are with a twist flavorful and guilt free uh, it says the 77 calories per 20 gram pack the four sins and they are 80 percent less fat than regular potato crisps crunchy popped yellow pea spirals so they're like twisties um one pack 77 calories the other one 76 and we've got barbecue flavour and Thai red chilli. So they might be worth a go if you come across those in the supermarket. I think I'd definitely pick up a pack. They look really nice. And then the other thing I was going to show you is, I don't know about you, but I love this section where it shows you like new stuff that's out. Five free food finds. So the top one is Morrison's. Butternut crinkle fries. So butternut squash, they are free and the one pound for a 300 gram bag. So I thought they might be worth a shot just to shove in the oven if you can't be bothered. And butternut squash is speed, isn't it? Um, what else did I say on there? Another thing I saw at the bottom there, is, do you say dull tropical mix? It's free, two pound 29 for 400 grams. So they look quite good. And it says, I can't quite see, rich in vitamin C, hand-picked. Yeah, so they might be worth a shot. Also, uh, it mentions on there about strawberries. Delicious on their own or with fat-free natural fromage fray, beaten with vanilla extract and a pinch of sweetener. That might be worth a go as well. Um, the other thing, I was going to show you is one second first of all the viennas are there and the oreo cream sandwiches which they sell at uh, iceland are five and a half sins each and then i noticed these snacker jacks here never actually seen those before and it says if you like to use your sins for a daytime sweet treat these lightweight mini chocolate and yogurt coated rice cakes are ideal for stashing in your bag snacker jacks milk chocolate coated mini rice cakes and yogurt coated mini rice cakes both three and a half sins per 14 gram pack 70 pence at morrison's and okado so they could be worth a shot, couldn't they? I like stuff like that. I know how to do some, but they are actually quite high sin. I never realised when I used to get them how high they were. So yeah, that was just a few things that I picked. One thing I do is I buy the magazine. Sometimes I don't even look at it. Sometimes I flick through it and then, yeah, 
I collect them really, that's why I buy them. But yeah, they do have some good stuff in. And doesn't that lady look bad on the front? I'd love to be in that magazine. But yeah. So, I'm planned out for the week. Nothing should get in my way this week. Uh, I won't be going for a cheeky Nando's. And yeah, Saturday night treat as usual. One thing I have done today is I've been for afternoon tea and it was lovely. I will just show you a quick picture rather than inserting one here. I will show you a quick picture of what it looked like. And that was it there. Doesn't it look lovely? So yeah, it was very nice. Uh, enjoyed it. So I've been for that. So normally I would have an unplanned lunch. Um, not sure what tea is going to be. But yeah, I'll be back on it in the morning. I've not gone mad today. I've just had that. And then I've not come home and picked it out. I've just uh, been on the hydrate, mate, trying to keep fluids up because it is absolutely boiling today. Um, so yeah, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know how you've got on this week. And yeah, let's try and get a loss this week. Do you know what? I was happy with the main team. I was just glad to have not put on. So sorry that the video is short. Um, but yeah, and I'll tell you one thing I am doing today, or I have done today, is I am wearing a dress. Can you believe it? It's not something I would do, and I've actually got my arms out. So, if I can, I'll pop in a clip of the dress. Got it in the sale at H&M, and it was reduced from £17.99 to, I think, £8. So yeah, I'll show you a clip of that now. So this is it. Polka dot, strappy, and then it comes up at the sides, longer at the back, and then longer at the front. So it's dead. I feel comfortable in it. I feel like it doesn't think you with my lumps and bumps. And yeah, quite impressed with it. So, as I say, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you've got on. Welcome to any new subscribers that have recently subscribed to my channel. Hello and welcome. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have fab time in the sunshine. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.